So I've got this really nice battery charger. It's a Schumacher Elite um, model number uh, SE40225. Uh, it's got uh, uh, 12 volt, 255 to two, up to 255 amp, and 6 volt up to 125 uh, amp. Uh, the charging capabilities are uh, 2 amp, 20 amp, 40 amp, or 225 amp uh, boost. Um, it was in a flood several years ago, and I ne could never bring myself to throw it away. Um, I did clean it out uh, at the beginning, um, but it has some issues. This is the model with the electronic control panel, and we're going to see if we can't fix those issues today. Let me show you first uh, what the issues are. I'm going to plug the unit in, and uh, we'll show you what, uh, uh, what the issues are with it. Forgive me, it's a little bit noisy. It's got a little bit of a fan in there, as, as they all do. Uh, this is the nice model, the one that's on wheels. Um, here's the issue. You push the buttons, um, and they just uh, they don't work. Like right now, uh, that should go back to the maximum amount of time, and forward would be up five minutes, ten minutes, blah, blah, blah. Um, this one seems to work all right. You see how it changes it from... Uh, uh, the timer uh, to the voltage to the amps um, and what have you this one also does not work as well uh, all that well either so uh, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the only issue with it I have used the charger and it does work if you continue to push 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 eventually you get that switch to work uh, that little electronic switch to work um, and uh, you know it, it, it functions but it's just a pain in the butt and I thought about replacing it but you know I've got nothing better to do today so let's take it apart and see if uh, if I can't uh, repair this I pulled out some of the little switches the little dip switches um, I could have bought them online I'm not sure what I did with them here I could have bought them online um, but uh, they're, they're certainly cheap enough I probably could have picked them up in a store here today these are the switches I think um, these are the little switches um, that that the unit is going to have uh, that's bad and you can I don't know if you can hear the click when you press it um, uh, but uh, I just pulled these off an old uh, CRT television that we were throwing out because well I didn't mainly because not because I, I, I was trying to save money but mainly because I didn't feel like waiting for the uh, switches to come in the mail and I think these are going to work so let's uh, take it apart and uh, uh, I've had it apart before uh, just to clean it out during the flood. There's just a few uh, uh, number six metric um, uh, metric screws there that have to be taken out. And... Okay, so this is where I'm at. I've taken the the side panels off. Um, this is how the unit looks on the inside. It's it's of course I've got it tipped up, but there you go. Uh, the panels came off pretty easily. Um, I also took this uh, these top two screws off, which kind of was an unnecessary step but there's the control panel here's the front of it uh, like so and, uh, you just come around on the inside it looks like there's just uh, four uh, size 8 metric uh, bolts that hold it in and we're just going to take those off um, I've loosened them uh, loosened them by hand so they're just going to come off pretty easily I think and we'll see what we've got Which is here. This is the the really bad one. That's the one that uh, changes the mode. So there's those four points. I marked it with a black magic marker. And let's see if I can if I can unsolder that. It's one of the posts. There's four posts here. Just wait till it's melted, stick that over it, and that in theory.
sucks the uh, solder. This one doesn't seem to be doing it that well. There we go. You can tell when it sucks it up. It, I guess the, the video probably isn't capturing it all that well, but you can tell when it sucks it up. Um, these are the, this is an old switch. This is the bad switch. The you know, the switch is identical except for the actual length of the knob uh, is quite a bit shorter. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to rectify that um, uh, by putting something extra on here or switching these out somehow, or uh, I may have to just cut a hole in my. Of course, the real thing I should do is get the proper switches with the proper length, but. Um, I'm sure I can sure I can manage to get it done. So I'm just going to solder these in down here really quick. I've already got the new switch in on that side. Just going to solder it in really quick. And it should just take a little dab of a uh, little dab of solder. We got to solder here, 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 and here. And then we'll plug it in and just test that switch before we. It doesn't take much of anything. done all right so um, I've got the switches in and uh, this is the one that you can see the light switch is changing here uh, this is the one that changes it from what type of a charge you're on 2 amp 20 amp 40 amp 225 amp uh, boost this is the one that changes it uh, this one this one did work but you know what I changed the switch anyways um, and it's got all uh, different switches in it. This is the one that changes it from uh, uh, 12 volt, 6 volt, uh, those types of things. And then this is the timer. So you can see the timer works 5, 10, 15, as I mentioned, 5, 10, 15, 20. And if you go the other way, it puts it on off or a hold or the longest, which is 135. And you can, you know, so the whole thing works. Now the only question is, is, um, Go ahead and unplug it. Uh, now the only question is um, uh, how I'm going to make it work with uh, these shorter, shorter switches. So I'm going to put it back to, together and see how it goes and see what it looks like. So for the final, uh, final testing, plug it in. Oh, there we are. Got that familiar hum. Uh, I did have to. Uh, knock out the um, uh, plastic pieces here, um, here, because these switches just aren't long enough. Uh, so that's okay because you know what? If I'm working on my car, I've got a hundred different things around that I can just reach in there and and, and go like that with. Uh, that's not a big deal at all to me. Um, maybe it's not 100% perfect uh, the way that um, some of you would fix it. But uh, as I said, I didn't feel like waiting for the parts to come in. And, uh, you know, um, so, yeah, okay, you can see over there. Yeah, so it is working. And, uh, I mean, I was basically all set to, to purchase myself a new one. Uh, but hey, you know, that saves me probably 100 and, well, probably 150 bucks for, for a model these days uh, as nice as this one. So, yeah, it's, I'm pretty happy with it. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I definitely could use subscribers right now. Uh, good old YouTube trying to shut all us little YouTubers down. Um, and, uh, you know, smash that like button. Thanks again.